Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Roger Eastlick with businesswebsiteceo.com and in this second tutorial series on how to install WAMP server on Windows, we are going to show you how you can use a domain name instead of local host or in addition to local host to get to your local development server, your WAMP server. As you see, as we left off in the last video, we have local host, we have a WAMP server installed and uh, ready to go. If you need that video, um, that video will be the first video in this playlist. So what we want to do to make it so you can use example.com, um, I think the reason you'd want to use example.com is if you're doing demonstrations like I am, for example, it's really nice to be able to use a domain and it looks just like you're on a regular server for, for your students or the folks that are watching your videos. Um, I think it can be kind of a little bit uh, unusual to see just a word. It's like, well, where's the domain name? So I think it's a good idea to use something with like with a .com. Example.com is a reserved name, so you're really not sending anybody any traffic if you use example.com or if somebody you know tries to hit example.com in, in your browser in their browser, they're not going to be you know going off to some competitor's website or to some porn site or anything like that. So it's safe. Anyway, so now how do we do that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to go into the host file on our, on our Windows, and we're going to make it so that whenever you type in example.com, Windows knows to send you to your WAMP server. So the way to do that is we're going to go into Notepad. It's so probably the easiest way to do that would be if you open up Windows Explorer, click on uh, you're going to either this PC on Windows 8 or that would be called computer on Windows 7. Click on local disk C. Click on double click on Windows. Scroll down to system uh, wait, I'll take it take it back. Scroll all the way down to notepad. You're going to want to right click on notepad and click run as administrator. Very important, right click and click on run as administrator because otherwise you won't be able to save your host's file. So I'm going to click on that. And for the user account control, we're going to click on yes. Now we have our notepad open and we're going to navigate to our host file. To do that, click on file, click on open, click on your C local disk, click on Windows, double click, scroll down to system 32, double click on system 32, scroll down to drivers, click on double click on drivers. You'd see an ETC folder. Double click on the ETC folder. And go down here to where it says text documents in case you don't see the host file right away and click on the drop down and select all files. And then you should see your host file. Go ahead and highlight the host file and click open. Now we see in our host file the way this works is this is 127.0.0.1 it's basically sending it to itself and right now localhost works because it's in there. What we're going to do is just add another line or two and we're going to just type in 127.0.0.1 hit the tab key type in example dot com and hit enter again actually go ahead and copy you can copy that line right click copy and then paste it right underneath and now we're going to do is if you put your cursor right to the left of example.com type in www. and now you've got www.example.com and we're going to save that file control s or go up to the file and click on save you can go ahead and close your hosts uh, your notepad and now you're going to notice right away that if you type example.com you will get to the WAMP server. There is a couple more things we want to do here um, because right now we don't want to do any installations in the in this root folder where we're seeing this we want to do subfolders let me explain if you open up your Windows Explorer 
and you click on your C drive and then double click on your WAMP directory or your, or your WAMP folder and then double click on www folder you'll see that this is where we are right now this index.php is this file you see behind um, Windows Explorer okay and what we want to do is we want, we want to do our all of our installations all of our projects in project folders subfolders underneath www so to do that we're going to right click here and select new and then folder and right now we're going to call that folder example and now the thing is we want to make sure that when we type in example.com we actually go to this folder and now so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up I'm going to open up a program called notepad plus plus and uh, if you're not familiar with it you can go to notepad type in notepad plus plus into Google and you'll come to this page it's a free program open source very cool works very well I highly recommend it if you don't have it already but and it is free so go ahead and download download that and now we're gonna go and open that up so I already have it installed of course so let's open up our notepad plus plus get rid of that okay and now what we want to do is we're going to edit a couple files within the WAMP server so we're going to click on file and click on open and we're going to go up to our WAMP folder and then what we're going to do is go into double click on bin double click on Apache double click on the Apache version and in our case it's 2.4.9 okay and then double click on CONF and you'll see this httpd.conf CONF file go ahead and highlight that click on open what we want to do there is you just want to do a control F to find because it's kinda of hard to find down there and type in virtual hosts click enter and close your box now it's gonna bring us to this line right here virtual hosts and you'll notice that under the line underneath it which starts with include also begins with a pound sign it means it's commented out and it's not active we're going to delete that pound sign and we're going to go up and we're going to save the file we're going to close that we're going to go back up and click on open and we're going to double click on extra underneath extra second from the bottom you should see a file or a file named httpd-vhosts.conf highlight that click on open now what we've got this gives us virtual hosts which is what we need without getting into a lot of detail of what it does we're gonna edit this second one right here so that when we type in localhost well actually when we type in example Dot com it's going to go to our example folder where we can put our project files so what I'm going to do is on this one I'm going to go down to the second one here and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit I'm going to get rid of the dummy host 2 I'm going to most importantly I'm going to change the document root so instead of being whatever it says there I'm gonna put in C colon forward slash WAMP that's our root folder forward slash www forward slash example okay and the server name that's gonna be example dot com and so you don't have a server alias we should have a server alias we'll grab this line right here so go ahead and um, hit enter and type in server alias with a capital S and a capital A and then space and then type in example I'm sorry type in www.example dot com okay that is all that we should need now what we can do up here 
is we can leave pretty much everything the same except that what we want to do here is we're going to make the server name localhost make the server alias localhost we're going to change the document root we'll go ahead and copy this document root right here and paste it in here so that it says c colon forward slash wamp forward slash www forward slash we'll also add a forward slash after example in the second one okay and now we want to save that you can do control s or file and then save and at this point what we need to do is we need to go down to our wamp icon in the system tray left click on that go up to where it says Apache over to where it says service and click on the restart service button okay now at this point if we hit example.com yeah it was cached I think there we're gonna come into our this is basically that folder okay that's the folder that we're looking for just to prove that real quick we can create a, fo a file we'll call it index well what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and type just a line of code in there and say echo this is example dot com close it tag off I'm not going to explain what this is just a little bit of PHP I'm going to save that to my WAMP folder whoops nope take it back to my WAMP folder C WAMP folder www into the example right there and I'm going to call the file index.php alright so we've got that now what I'm expecting is when I do example.com all right so obviously I did something wrong echo this is okay I forgot my end quotation mark there there you go one more time this is example.com okay so now you've got your WAMP server installed set up and you have the ability to use uh, example.com to get to your virtual uh, to get to your working project directories if you type in localhost still what you should get is this main page I hope this has been helpful uh, thanks for watching have a great day